in the days of sailing ships, people from all over the world were coming to America looking for a new start in life. There was this one ship named the White Cloud. And it's her last voyage that this tale is about. She set sail for the new world with a full passenger list. Now, these folks weren't poor like a lot of the early settlers. They brought things of great value, like jewels and gold heirlooms. And while they tried to keep these things hidden, on a small ship, the word gets around among the crew. Now, the captain of the White Cloud had been a pirate when he was younger, but was given a pardon by the king because of the shortage of experienced sea captains. When he heard about the treasures on board, his thoughts turned back to the old pirate ways. He plotted with the crew to murder the passengers, take their belongings, set fire to the ship, and escape in the long boat. On the last night out of port, the murderous crew crept below with knives drawn. They spared no. Every single passenger was brutally killed. Then the plunder began. Sea bags were slashed open, trunks were bashed apart. Everything of value was piled on deck and divided among the thieves. After they had loaded the long boat, the captain set fire to the white cloud, and the smaller boat pulled away from the flaming hull. Suddenly the wind shifted. The ship, now a mass of flames, bore down directly on the log. The villains lay to the oars, but it was no use. With a thunderous, fiery crash, the blazing ship split the small boat in half. And the eager crew was dumped, screaming into the fiery sea. And all hands were lost. Since that infernal night, every year on the first new moon of the fall, the flaming ship reappears. You can hear the eerie screams of terror from the tormented men as the blazing ghost ship nears the shore. She suddenly bursts into a great fireball, then disappears, only to appear again moments later. This happens three times. After the third explosion, no matter the direction of the wind, the blazing sea gone inferno disappears over the horizon, always to the northeast, not to be seen again for a full year. Folks who have seen this ghost ship swear that they could smell burning canvas, rope, and human flesh. <laughs>